Hello, hello, my heathens. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be filming a day in the studio vlog today. I have a ton of stuff that I need to get to today. On top of everything, on top of everything creative, I have, as you can tell, my apartment is a disaster right now. Although to be fair, some of this disaster is the fault of the gremlin over there. He likes to make a mess of my pillows and drop things everywhere. But my art table where I typically spend my days working on art is full. It is a disaster. It is an organized disaster, but it is a disaster nonetheless. As you can tell, things are spilling over <laughs> into the living room, which is oh, not okay. It's, it's tough. It's tough living in a tiny apartment when you are working on a million and one things. So my brain, my brain, I have to, I have to write things down. Today, I'm going to be working on packaging artwork for both my illustration Etsy shop. Ooh, what's happening to my tripod? Something is happening. If my head gets cut off, I'm sorry. <sighs> off with her head, burn the witch and all such things. Okay, so packaging artwork for my Etsy shops, for both of them, for my main shop, as well as for Cat Eyes and Cacti. I have to package my Patreon goodies, which is gonna be fun. I have a color and chat that I need to begin filming. I have comic book artwork to do and some prep for my Etsy shop. I'm not going to be doing all of that in one day. I know that I'm going to be packaging the artwork and the Patreon at least, and then I will be doing the color and chat. Well, no, it's early enough in the day that I can definitely spend a few hours doing all of that, but I have to clean today. If I don't clean today and get the living space in order, I'm going to just because I cannot live in chaos. I can deal with chaos for a day or two, but after that it starts to affect me and it's just, you don't wanna see me angry, it's not cute. I just, I turn into a, well, a let's not discuss it. But, oh, add this to my list. I need to make coffee. You know what, maybe, maybe I need some more perfume. My perfume of the day, Alien, my, ugh. My beloved Alien by Thierry Mugler, which does actually make me smell like some sort of alien vampire, which I am all about. But I need to brew some coffee because I've been drinking kombucha today. Kombucha is a fermented tea. It's supposed to have health benefits. I don't, I'm not a woo-woo hippie type of person. They may be right about this, they may not, I don't know. But it is an ancient, fermented tea that is supposed to be good for you. It's tea, so it's got the caffeine in it, which does caffeine really affect my spastic behavior? I don't know. But if you see or hear me doing, you know, being overcome by the sniffles, I assure you my obsession with disco has not resulted in a cocaine problem. The sniffles are a cayenne pepper problem because this kombucha has cayenne pepper and ginger and a spiciness, though I enjoy it, my sinus passages do not. So there might be some sniffling in this video. But anyway, lots to do today. Um, and now that I'm talking about it, I'm not going to be filming my cleaning the apartment. I never do that. It's just... I want these vlogs to be a day in the life, day in the studio vlogs, but I'm not going to show you the daily minutia, such as cleaning my apartment. Life is not perfect. We all have to clean. We all have to deal with all that dirty business. I'm just not gonna show it in a vlog because it's boring. But I'm thinking about possibly filming, not today because I have a laundry list of things that I need to get to today but I'm thinking about possibly filming a video showing you how I manage to organize my space and how I manage to be creative and productive while I'm living in such a confined space. Now, I know that there are plenty of people out there who live in even tinier spaces. Maybe you are confined to just a bedroom or a dorm room or a studio apartment where it's just literally a rectangular space and you feel very stuck, very confined. And I, trust me, I understand how feeling confined can lead to feelings of anxiety and 
making you feel unmotivated and you feel, oh, I, there's no way I can get anything done here. I'm so stressed. I'm so crammed in. I know, I know. I've been there. I've been there and I was able to dig my, my way out because if anything, maybe I'm not the most talented beast in the world, but I am very tenacious. So I can say that about myself at least. So maybe my words may help to get you up off the floor, dust yourself off, give you a little slap, and hopefully it'll get to somehow motivate you into not seeing your confinement as a hindrance. Maybe it will help you to figure out ways to be creative while you're stuck living in a tiny space. Because if I can do it, you can do it. I know that sounds very corny, but trust me, I used to work out of a bedroom and now I have a tiny apartment. Well, I say tiny, it's a one bedroom, but a one bedroom when you're working on comics, coloring books, illustration, and then you have Etsy shops to run. It's, it's a lot because one thing that I do not do is work where I sleep. I've made that mistake before and I, I don't like to do any artwork in my bedroom. My bedroom is for getting dressed and for sleeping and for just relaxing. It is not for working. It is not for anything else. So that's what my kitchen is for. I don't cook. So I have my art space set up over here in the kitchen. Oh my God, I am talking far too much. Let's head on over to my desk and get to work. I may or may not check in throughout this vlog. If I don't, then I will see you in the next one. So in the last page of On the Road, I describe how the hero, Dean Moriarty, has come to see me all the way from the West Coast just for a day or two. Back and forth across the country several times in cars, and now our adventures are over. No great friends, but we have to go into later phases of our lives. So there he goes, Dean Moriarty, ragged and the moth eaten overcoat he brought especially for the freezing temperatures of the evening. Walking off alone, and last I saw him, he rounded the corner of 7th Avenue. to it again. Are we done? <laughs> no? Okay, I'll wait. Look how pretty Palm Springs is. It's a misty morning in the desert today.
last I saw him, he rounded the corner of 7th Avenue, eyes on the street, head and bent to it again. So this is my, my ever so sophisticated system for Patreon, at least for the moment. I wanted to be able to keep my Patreon to-do list nice and contained in a box so that I can reach for it, open it, and do what I need to do when I need to do it, when I have to send physical rewards to my patrons, which is not going to be every single month, but when I do, I want to have a nice system in place. So this little box is gonna have to do it for now, but it's like my little treasure box. I like it. Maybe someday we'll get a fancy box, but until then, this one will do just fine. So what I'm going to do is I already packaged up the sticker packets last night. So I have the, the little bat sticker in this nice little packet that is going to be then stuffed into the envelopes like so once I have everyone's address on here. So what I'm going to do now though, is just as a little, a little added touch, a little sprinkling of loving cooties from me to you, which translates into, of course, more work for me, <laughs> but I'm happy to do it because I love you guys and you know that. I'm going to be drawing some little thank you bats to the sticker packs. This is something that I used to do on all of my Etsy orders, but I eventually transitioned into thank you cards for Etsy orders. It was just easier and faster. So it's nice to get back to drawing on everybody's packages like this. See how cute that is? Aww. So I have, how many do I have at this moment? I believe I have 22 to do. So by the time this is over, um, 20 or 22? How many patrons do I have? I have 20 or 22 at the moment. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few minutes. America, when the sun goes down, and I sit on the old broken down river pier watching the long, long skies of New Jersey, since all that raw land that rolls in one unbelievable huge bulge over to the west coast, and all that road going, and all the people dreaming in the immensity of it, tonight the stars will be out, don't you know that God is Pooh Bear? drooping and shedding her sparkler dims on the prairie, which is just before the coming of complete night that blesses the earth, darkens all the river, cups the peaks, holds the final shore in. Nobody, nobody knows what's going to happen to anybody besides the forlorn rags that are growing old. Think of Dean Moriarty, I even think of old Dean Moriarty, the father we never found. Think of Dean Moriarty.
there you go, Steve Moriarty, ragged in the moth-eaten overcoat he brought specially for the freezing temperatures of the evening. Walking off alone, and last I saw him, he rounded the corner of 7th Avenue, eyes on the street, head and bent to it again. sun goes down, and I sit on the old broken down river pier watching the long, long skies of New Jersey, sense all that raw land that rolls in one unbelievable huge bulge over to the west coast, and all that road going, and all the people dreaming in the immensity of it, tonight the stars will be out. We have made it to the end of yet another vlog. So I'm going to end this really quickly just by mentioning a couple of things before I go. Well, one thing actually, we'll keep it to one. So I'm inserting this clip of the Harlequin Glass number two for my comic book nerds, my delicious comic book geeks. This one's for you, the book is now available on Amazon. I did make a dedicated video about it, but just in case you don't keep up with everything that I do online, which trust me, I understand it's a lot. Um, the book is now available and it will be available for free the 5th of February. So coming up soon, 5th of February for free online and it is now available if you prefer the physical copy. And with that, we are going to end this video. <laughs> As you saw earlier, I was doing all of my Patreon envelope goodness, and as soon as I finished that, I said, later tonight, later tonight, I'm going to make a dress label so that next time I have to send out Patreon goodies, I can just peel and slap my name on the envelope in a sticker form. So that's what we're closing out the vlog with. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another peek into this little desert hermity life of mine. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you are looking forward to everything you saw in the vlog. February is going to be a month full of Etsy shop updates. So hopefully you're looking forward to prints, stickers, all other such yumminess. Go do something fun. I'm taking off now. I will see you in the next one. He rounded the corner of 7th Avenue.